I'm David Hunter, I play Charlie Price in Kinky Boots, and I'm having tea with Wilma. David Hunter, hello. All right. What, uh, West End Wilma Award winner, David Hunter. That's me. <laughs> um, so, for anyone who hasn't seen Kinky Boots, mm -hmm. um, what's the story and what part do you play? So, I play Charlie Price, who um, inherits a failing shoe factory um, and it's looking like it's all going to come to an end, and all these kind of all the people who work there, who are effectively his family, he's grown up with, he's known them all his life, uh, are going to be out of a job and, and um, you know, and booted out the other end. Uh, and he, no, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I do that, so very full. But, uh, and, and basically he, he bumps into, through chance, uh, a, a drag queen called Lola, played by the wonderful Matt Henry. Olivier Award winning Ooh. Matt Henry. Um, and West End Wilbur Award winning. Where's of course, so that, that's Who it. hasn't won a Award? <laughs> <laughs> but he meets Lola, Charlie meets Lola, and, um, and gets this idea to create these sort of robust kinky boots for men who dress like women. Um, and it's all based on a true story. There was a factory in Northampton that did this and, and started making shoes for these drag queens, and um, and we tell that story really. And the, and 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 through that is just um, these two men who seem different, like incredibly different in every way possible, um, find uh, how how similar they are really underneath all the kind of nonsense that goes on around. Kinky Boots have announced this week that they are teaming up with the Diana Award for National mm. Kindness Day yeah. on the 31st of March. Um, what are you going to do on that day? How are you going to mark National Kindness Day? Or what um, do you think people should do on that day to make the world a better place? Do you know what? It, it, kindness is such an easy thing, isn't it? But it's, we do it so rarely. I mean, so I, I try and do little dinky things here and there, and this show's a great example of it really because it kind of reinforces the kindness and the and, and, and just spreading the joy and the love to everyone. Um, we don't do it though, do we? But I think yeah. maybe if everyone agreed on National Kindness Day, just to like chat to each other on the tube even. Oh, really? No? No, we're English. It's true. But it would be nice though, wouldn't it? But do you know what, every day I, um, I get a, a, a train ticket into town and I don't need it on the way back. So I try and give it away, it's a travel card, so it gets me all the way around London. Yeah. And I try and give it away when it gets to Charing Cross, and they, no one will take it off me. No. They think, it, they're like, you this guy's going to mug me. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. So I kind of go, is anyone you know, waiting in a used line? Does anyone need a travel card? And the amount comes I, I usually, I, I want to walk away going, just get, such a nice guy, mm. get a bit of that. But actually I walk away feeling a bit like, <laughs> like I might be a yeah. bit of a mugger. Like, it would be nice if we could live in a world where everyone's That's a bit it. nicer. Just a bit nicer. Mm. Anyway, National Kindness Day, 31st of March. Don't be mean. Talk to someone on the tube. Talk to <laughs> Just not me, leave me alone. <laughs> leave it alone. Um, Talk to me, guys. See you at Charing Cross. Anyone needs a travel card? Uh, quarter to five every day. You can have mine. Uh, so now I'm going to ask you some of the wonderful questions that your fans <laughs> wanted to know. Um, Sarah on Twitter said... What Hi, Sarah. Should we do that? Okay. Hi, Sarah. Sarah. What's your favourite role in Kinky Boots apart from Charlie? Well, it has to be Lola. It's, a, it's an incredible role, but I tell you what, I wouldn't want to take it on. I think what Matt does and what the covers do as well mm. is unbelievable because, I mean, I'm very rarely off stage and running around a lot and you're kind of running off and running back on and all those things. But Lola does that with, in a corset and on heels. Yeah. Uh, and when, you know, when I come off stage, the moment I come off stage when um, uh, Lauren... Uh, Ellen this guy's singing her song yeah. uh, and I'm still in the wings having a drink or whatever I'm about to go back on and Matt's there and he's having his makeup redone or taken off or, or a new wig or a different wig or whatever uh, and that, that's his downtime off yeah. stage it's, he, he steps on stage at about 7.30 or just after and he goes and goes and goes um, it's an incredible role and he's got brilliant lines and wonderful songs but what an undertaking and I think Hannah Lou Aldrich Lou, Lou 87. Lou B. Lou 72, oh. 72. Oh, this is a catchy name. 72, actually. 72? Yeah. Okay. Well, 72, 72. Lou B. Lou 72, 72. It kind of rhymes, Lou B. Lou 72, 72. 72. We approve of it. Everyone out there, just, just drop uh, Lou B. Lou 72, 72, a little yeah. tweet, just saying. Well, right. Maybe you can do that on National Kindness Day. Tweet That's someone with a good name. That's it, yeah. yeah. And um, if you need a travel card, you know where to come. <laughs> 
Uh, what's your favourite line from Kinky Boots? My favourite line, um, <clears throat> my favourite line, I'm going to go to Lola again, she has all the best lines, um, is um, there's a song, um, Not My Father's Son, a ballad, um, and he's talking about uh, discovering like the heels and the dragging up for the first mm-hmm. time sort of thing, and he goes, and he's, uh, the air seemed lighter six inches off the ground, and I just think it's brilliant. And I've just got the best view in the house because I'm kind of looking over him. There's a light coming across him there, and I just look up and I get to see this great performance every night. And he's just he does that, and yeah. I'm just like, that's great. <laughs> that's it. Stephen yeah. would like to know: Will you ever release an album? Well, Stephen, um, probably not. <laughs> um, no, I'd really like to. It's it's finding it's finding the time. Um, yeah. I've actually been talking to um, some guys about recording something, so I think an EP is very possible, and, and relatively soon as well. Uh, which I'd love to do. There's literally songs that I wrote about seven or eight years ago after I finished uh, the band broke up. I got dumped, and uh, <laughs> and um, and then I was started writing songs. I was writing. I was kind of ready to record, and I got an acting job, and and then kind of it just went in a different direction. Yeah. So I've got these this collection of songs that I'd really like to lay down. So I'm hoping in the next few months that I'll be laying down about four tracks. Um, for your listening pleasure. Um, there you go, you heard it here first. It's exclusive. <laughs> More exclusive. Um, Juliet Morrison would like to know what's your favourite part of the show? My favourite part of the show is everybody say yeah. Um, because basically in the first act, Charlie spends a lot of it being quite exasperated, running around trying to solve problems, part of fires, uh, figure out this whole mess that he's suddenly been landed in. And then everybody say yeah, he gets to just suddenly have a load of fun. And then the finale as well, a similar thing. Yeah. Just a really fun, fun moment because there's so much more kind of angsty stuff in there for me and then the fun moments are a real release and really enjoying it, you know. Okay, and last one um, is from my mum. Mum! Um, I asked him today, I was like, have you got a message, a uh, question for him? Hilariously, I haven't <laughs> adapted this question from what she said because it's typical of my mother. Um, how do you cope doing six shows a week? <laughs> sure. <laughs> the six are fine, the seventh and eighth yeah. uh, are the hard ones. How do you cope, so how do I cope with eight shows a week? The, the real answer is it, it's really hard sometimes so you know I feel like the run over a long you know if you're doing it for a year or longer like the, the run is it really has some flows and sometimes you can feel like you're very tired or you've had a cold and you're still recovering from that cold and there's no time to recover you get your Sunday off so you're not going to fully recover so you're trying to sing through things or get better maybe a few days off or whatever um, and you, you can go through a really sticky patch where it's like oh, this is really hard I'm really trying to really struggle I'm just tired and whatever and in other times it feels like you just fly through the week King of Boots just gets you through it yeah. um, and we leave feeling great like I sometimes I've come in feeling awful but left feeling brilliant simply because it does raise you up boom land from the show land from the show Will I've got a little gift for you um, what's that more hashtag stagey yes um, I love merch ah! and stagey ah. t-shirts uh, I've also put one in for Tara. Yes! Um, I don't do baby... Tara, we've made it! I haven't gone into uh, baby merchandise yet. <laughs> um, and if anyone else would like some stage and merchandise, you can get it now at westernworld.com. Sold! Go see David Hunter in Kinky Boots at the Adelphi Theatre. It's currently it? booking until 30th of September. 2017. Sounds good. Um, and don't forget to check out National Kindness Day on the 31st of March. We've given you some ideas. Um, why don't you let us know what you're going to do in the comments below. Uh, subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. I will also put a link in the description to uh, the other videos that we've done together because we've done uh, loads. We've done loads. Um, so if you enjoyed this video, you can check those out too. Thanks. Bye. <laughs>